Now, this will be part two. Simon Toko, the Messiah. Let me just start drawing these connections for you and see if you can come up with what I came up with. Simon Toko, said to be the Black J.E.S.U.S. because he's healing people, making the blind to see, making the deaf to hear. He was resurrected himself. He prayed to Tatanzambi Yamazulu, which means Father G.O.D. in heaven. In Kikango, when he did that, he was resurrected. They call the Most High Tatanzambi. His name is Nsemi. Now, fast forward. After he gets killed and is resurrected, fast forward to today, we're being programmed about all these movies about zombies who are brought back from the dead. And Montoko prayed to Tatanzambi. And if you're a worshiper of Tatanzambi, are you considered a zombie? Coincidence one? Being programmed about zombies coming, Simone Toko said after he was cut up into pieces, sent by sh uh, planes, and then was resurrected in the office of the people who killed him and said, you want me to go? Okay, I'll go. But in the future, there's going to be more like me coming and you won't be able to stop them. We're being told today, there's a zombie apocalypse. There's going to be a zombie apocalypse. Coincidence number two? Hmm. King Kong continues to be this miraculous film. They've always referred to, not myself, but people, typically white, racists refer to colored people as monkeys, apes. They've always done it. I don't do that, but I know for a fact that that's what they do. Racist people. Simone Toko is from Congo, known as the Messiah, Black J-E-S-U-S, which would make him King of Congo, known as Kusua Congo, the Messiah, King of Kings, Simon Toko is said to be the Messiah from Congo, King Congo? Is it just a mockery of the Messiah who already came, known as Simon Toko? Now, when you start speaking any kind of hate toward anybody in the world who's doing things against the commandments, like homosexuals, when you start exposing people for their lies, you're known as an anti-Semite. Simon Toko says that the creator's name is Nsemi, or Nsiemi. You're an anti-Semite when you start speaking hate against homosexuality? It's backwards where you would actually be a follower of Semi, Tatan Siemi. If you're keeping his commandments and judging people who would be a homosexual and going, look, you're not supposed to be doing that because you're not, you won't inherit the kingdom of heaven if you do that, according to 1 Corinthians 6, 9. But then if, if me, if I speak out against homosexuality, I'm now known as an anti-Semite. Coincidence number three? Or would that be 
Four. Four. Four coincidences. They're not coincidences. This is all, like I said, you then start drawing the picture. And when you connect these dots, this all matches up. As I said, Simon Pelko, Isaiah 53, verses 1 through 4. No form or comeliness, no beauty that we should desire him. Simon Toko had no beauty. Had no beauty. Had leprosy when he was a kid and had marks all over his face. Not beautiful. He fits the description in Isaiah 53 verses 1 through 3 about the man to come. John 5 43. The Messiah says, I come in my father's name and you receive me not. Another will come in his own name and him you will receive. If Nsemi or Nsiemi is the, the, the actual name of the creator. Simon Toko, Simon, Simeon, and Simon all come in root of Semi. Coincidence number two. Simon Toko is not white. He was a colored man from Congo. Which would fit the description of the Messiah in Revelation 1, verse 15. His feet were fine like brass, as if we're fine in a furnace. The second coming of the Messiah has happened. We are in the end times because Simon Toko preached his message for 33 years. And do you know what sign he held up when he came back to Congo when they were getting their independence back? He was the first one to do like this. Now look at all the Satanists and all the celebrities and all the people who are doing things they shouldn't be doing. They're mocking him because they're all doing like that. Simon Toko is the Messiah. Who comes in the name of Tatan Siemi or Father Siemi, Father and Siemi? If you don't believe me, you have to explain all this. And you either now face the fact and start doing some research or continue to live under what I was living under, Y A H W E H. Who I thought was Y-A-H-U-A-H. No. That's the deity of Israel. Only as old as 1947 and 48. Israel. Broken down. Is R-A-E-L? R-A is the Egyptian sun deity. The hidden one. Y-A-H-W-E-H. Is the deity of Israel. And he goes by E-L. Check out my video. The truth about Israel. And now you have to try to either. Continue to live this. Because look. I called on that name too. I thought that was the truth. But there are so many layers of lies. That once you get to the bottom. You start dishing it out to people. Well, by the grace of Tatan Zambi Yamazulu, my eyes were opened about the truth of YAH. Now, as I said in my video, check it out uh, the truth about Israel. This is how you praise the deity of Israel. Y A H, not spelled backwards, because it would be hey. But when you say this forward and then you rewind it, it says I. If you take this out because it's I, and you insert the I in this phrase, this is what you get. Again, 
when you have this, because this is how you praise the Most High, according to Israel, Y-A-H said backward, not spelled backward, but said backward is I, which is I of H-O-R-U-S, the I of R-A, the I of L-U-C-I-F-E-R, the all-seeing eye is represented of the devil. That's a representation. Is R-A-E-L? Because Y-A-H-W-E-H is known as L. This is how you praise the deity of uh, Israel. I-S-R-A-E-L is R-A-E-L. E-L is Y-A-H. When you say this backwards, I is how you say it. Forward, it's Y-A-H. Backward, not spelled, but said. it. I. That would take this Y-A-H out. And then if you insert this I into this phrase and scramble it around, you get E-L is R-A-E-L. Israel is R-A-E-L because E-L is known as king of the G-O-D-S. E-L is the father of... B A A L, said to be the Father resurrected in the Son. E L is represented in a symbol, a bull. Can't make this one up. You can't make it up. Check out my video, The Truth About Israel. Simon Toko is the Messiah. The creator of heaven and earth and the waters and all the hosts of them is not Y-A-H. It's not Y-H-W-H. It's not Y-A-H-W-E-H. It's not Y-A-H-U-A-H. That is all the hidden one, R-A. The true creator's name? Nsiemi. Tata means father in Kikongo. Nsiemi is what they call him. And Simon, Simeon, Simone, Toko, it's all the same. Rooted is Semi. He matches the description perfectly in Isaiah 53, verses 1 through 3. He matches the description perfectly in Revelation 1.15. Simon Toko, Simeon Toko, Simon Toko matches the description in John 5.43 of coming in the Father's name if the Father's name is in Semi, in Siemi. Simon Toko did everything the Messiah did. Healed people, made the uh, blind able to see, made the deaf able to hear, resurrected himself. He didn't resurrect himself, did Tatansiemi resurrected him. He said, there's going to be more like me coming and you won't be able to stop him. He brought himself back to life and he worshipped Tatanzambi. Now, those brought back from the dead are called zombies. There's going to be a zombie apocalypse. Come on. Can you see? Do you see? Mm. All praise, glory, honor, credit, and apologies. Sincere apologies to the creator Tatan Siemi. Tatan Zambi Yamazulu. That's Father G O D of the Heavens. In Kikango, Tatan Zambi Yamazulu. Tata Nzambi. It's like this. Now Pope John Paul II tried to have this is who Simone Toko worshipped. This is G-O-D in Kikongo. And when Simone Toko or Simone Toko, Simone Toko, when he was killed and brought back, they called him a zombie. He's the Messiah, King of Kings, King of Congo, King Kong. It's a mockery, calling the colored man, a gorilla. Pope John Paul II wanted to have him killed. When they couldn't kill him, Pope John Paul II went to Congo because he wanted the power he possessed. Pope John Paul II came out 
in a speech and said, Kusua Congo, or the King of Congo, the creator of Congo, the creator is black, he said. Which I don't, I won't call them that no more. I wouldn't call them that if I were you. They're not. They're Bantu, son of man. They're the original Hebrew Israelites. They're the Habiru Isolele. Hebrews are Edomite liars. Jews. Revelation 3.9 says, Those that call themselves Jews but are not are liars. They are of the synagogue of Satan. If the synagogue of Satan are Jews, Jews worship Y-A-H-W-E-H. -E is Y-A-H-W-E-H -E another name for Satan? Because Y-A-H-W-E-H -E is the deity of Israel. Is R-A-E-L? R-A is the Egyptian son. Father of all creation. King of the G-O-D-S. Well, L is Y-A-H-W-E-H. L Elion, L should I. Come on. All this information has been provided by the Muwanda Valela, which is the Holy Spirit in Kikongo. Tatanzambi Yamazulu opened my eyes. It's time to turn back to him. It's time to start following commandments. And one more thing that I recognized. I was growing my beard out. The commandments are, if you look at Simon Toko, Simon Toko shaved his beard. Simon Toko shaved his hair. He is the Messiah. He is the Messiah. If you don't believe that, I can't help you. All I can do is provide this information and try to correct those who have seen my videos. Because I thought I knew the truth. Well, I was lied to. It's like we've all been lied to about everything, pretty much. And so, my eyes have been opened. And I apologize sincerely to my followers, the 12 subscribers that I have. But whoever watches this video, I apologize. Because I was praying to this name. And I felt disgusted with myself in a pit in my stomach when this information has been provided to me by the Muanda Valilla. Because Tatan Zambi Yamazulu is creating an awakening and he's pulling his people out and he's opening their eyes. And it's time to repent and follow the commandments. Now, when you follow the commandments like Leviticus 19.27, do not mar the edges of your beard or shave the edges of your beard. Do not shave around the temples. Do not shave the hair on your temples. Israelites, Jews. But in 1946, Israel with Palestine. Palestine is Arabs. Arabs don't, Deuteronomy 14.1, don't shave between your eyes. If you look at my other videos, I look like an Arab. I'll say it. Now, I'll follow the commandments. But, if the Messiah is the example we're supposed to live by, if you look at Simone Toko, he is the Messiah. Fits the descriptions in three different verses in scripture. He also did everything the Messiah did. He is the Messiah. Comes in the name of the Father. Tatan Semi. Yemi. Simon. Simeon. Toko. Semi is. That's the root. Simon. Or Simon. Simoen. Simeon. All comes from the root seed. Toko comes from the root seed. Bantu is the son of man. They're the seed. It's time to repent. It's time to stop doing things that are wicked in this world because we are in the end times because the second coming of the Messiah is Revelation 12, 9. Revelation 13, about 16 through 19 is where we are now. The Messiah came back already. His name is Simone Toko. He didn't pray to YAH. He didn't pray to YAHWEH. He didn't pray to J Suspect. He didn't pray to DOD and LORD. He prayed to Tatan Zombie. He was brought back. This is why they're programming us going, Look, they're zombies! Who are brought back from dead? Simone said, There's going to be more like me in the future coming, and you won't be able to stop them. Because more people who pray to Tatan Zambi Yamazulu, the true chosen people, not the Hebrew Israelite liar Jews, 
but the Habiru. Not Hebrew, but Habiru. Isolele. They pray to Tatan Zambi Yamazulu. The end is coming. And if you don't think that the end is coming where those who do not worship the Most High, those who practice evil, they'll be cut off. Zechariah chapter 13, verses 7 through 9, it says two-thirds of the people in the, in the land will be cut off completely. We are told that it's Jerusalem. In Revelation 21, it gives a description of 1,400 miles in a square will be where the new promised land is established. 1,400 miles in a square can't fit in Israel, Jerusalem. It can't fit in there. It can only fit in one place. Africa. Congo. It's time to wake up. It's time to go home. We're in the end days. We need to expose this. Expose the lies. I feel ashamed for all these prayers and all these times. And whoever seen my videos, please, please understand. I am not trying to misdirect you. I have been led to truth. And now I'm trying to help people understand just another layer of the lies. Because we're up against who? The deceiver. Master deceiver, Satan. He is a liar. He's lied to us again. And they changed the scriptures to redirect us and reroute us to worship a different one. Now, the scriptures are true. When they're not mentioning names, they are true. They've taken the names of places and they've redirected us to think that it's over here in Israel, the ancient Israel, the Israelites. The, there's another thing right there. Elites is in there. It's either the Israelites, which the lights, the shining ones, or it's the Israelites. I-S-H-T-A-R slash R-A elites. Hmm.